Hi, it's Kelly and welcome back to Me More TV. In today's video, I am making paleo bagels. The big ones, not the little ones. Um, I do lots of paleo videos, so please subscribe. And if you want to be notified about my new videos, just click on the notification bell down there. You may have seen my video on mini bagels. If not, should be a card right there. Um, and I show you lots of different things to do with them. This one is simply bagels but large ones you can put in whatever you want you know but that gives you an idea of sort of paleo ingredients and what you want to do but my children always say mommy can you make them bigger so here we are so for this paleo bagel recipe i'm using almond flour it's ground almond flour flaxseed coconut flour salt i use pink himalayan salt baking soda, gluten-free of course, apple cider vinegar, and five large eggs. You can garnish this with poppy seeds, sesame seeds. I'm going to leave four plain and do two with some crushed seeds. Right, I'm going to put the eggs in first so it's wet at the bottom, so it will mix up a little bit easier. And I, th I just throw everything in. It's a butter mix, that's how we, that's how we do it. I got these off Amazon. I will link them in the description below. I'll link all my ingredients in the description below. These are meant to be stick free, so they're silicon. I can't remember. <laughs> so I'm just going to do two with a little bit of coconut oil, just in case. I love these. Again, got them off Amazon. It's they're disposable. I'm just going to cut the corner off. I'm going to fill it up first. Oh, I learned my I learned from that last time. Okay, so just pour it in, like this. I don't know, we might get more than six. This is meant to make six, but I've got my backup tray. It's not a professional. <laughs> get to put the oven on I put it on to 170 because again this is a new oven and I'm just not sure I'd rather start a little bit lower if it's your usual oven at home put it on 180 now these are some seeds a bunch of seeds that I actually grinded up in my Vitamix and I'm going to put it on about just sprinkle it just on the top they're probably just three Look at that. All those mummy's ones with the seeds on it. They look great. And didn't stick. I'll remember that. The only thing I would have done a little bit different is I could have done half the amount and made them double the thickness. Oh yeah, baby. I'm going to put on a little bit of almond butter. That's the one with the seeds. I know I'm biased, but it's not dry. It's still a little bit moist inside. Mm. I shouldn't have taken another bite because I need to speak. So good. If you want some ideas of what to put in them, have a look at my mini bagels, as I said in the beginning, because I do like bacon, tomato, avocado, smoked salmon, violife, cream cheese, um, spinach, horseradish, and smoked salmon. There's so many, so many great ideas. Um, but these are just a little bit bigger. Bit more hearty. So there you have it. There's my paleo big bagels. I'd love to know what you put in them. Write in the comments below. Let me know what sort of toppings you put in. Inspire me. Uh, remember, if you've enjoyed this recipe, I do lots of other paleo recipes. So please subscribe, and you can find me on social media at memore.tv. <laughs> to make this recipe, you just need almond flour, flaxseed, uh, sea salt. I use Himalayan pink salt. I'm so proud of my new doorbell. Now it's getting a bit annoying. 